This is the Jerry Show, and today we're looking at the FL Studio HD for the iPad. I'll try to keep this short, but I just wanted to show you around, show you a few of the beats that I made. It's a $20 app. Uh, Fruity, well, FL Studio has been around for a while, and they've they've made it into an app here on the iPad, and it's pretty cool just because you can just take this anywhere with a pair of headphones, and yeah, so I'll just play a few of the ones that I've just kind of experimented with on here. I just do this for fun, but I actually use this on uh, a few of my background music. But go here into tracks. And you can see all the tracks. Whoops! I just stopped it. I was trying to. There we go. You can spread it out like that. Let me start it. All right. We can start it right here, how about that? And that's kind of where that one just kind of faded off for right now, at least. Uh, let's go to, let's try this one. Seems it wants to stop when I try to do that, but see the individual. Alright, so there's just a quick couple of uh, things I've done. Now I'll just kind of show you around. Uh, under this tab we have the setup. I don't really mess around in here too much because, uh, well, what we got here? We got the metrodome. We can adjust the metrodome, the pitch bend, uh, keyboard. We got some different sections and then general. Uh, let's go back to projects. Projects, we can start new projects. Let's see here. I believe it's this button, or I think we just let's type a new project and J E C T. My fingers are big. Done. And then we'll go to tracks, instruments. Okay. So, well, here's effects. We're going to skip effects for right now because that's something you do after you would maybe make your beat. Uh, so, shared, track, but let's go into tracks. We'll start here at tracks. Now, right here is three different sections. We have the drum, uh, whatever it's called right there. We can go here. This is where your different uh, steps are. Okay, we got the step. Then we have the mini synth and the the morphine cp70 so this is basically your drum beat and then you can add well let's just see what this sounds like uh, i want to select this one and these have a key to if you want to say i was just stuck on that one i wanted to see what this one actually sounded like i couldn't be in this option here because it's already locked onto this one so i have to go back here and then I'll go to the keyboard and I can hear what it sounds like. So you get the point, but what's really neat is you can go right into the instruments 
and you can go through all the different instruments or all the different, yeah, all the different instruments. And you can go through it and do a preview. And go back to the keyboard. And you can record right doing it like that too if I want to go. Oops. I added, I got to go back here. Let me show you how to delete this track real quick. So I want to be on that one, select that. And I want to click here and then I want to select all that. There's a little eraser down here at the bottom. I know I'm going fast, but uh, I just want to keep this one a little bit short. So I have that cleared out now and I can, I obviously want to clear this one out too. So I'll erase that. And this is just the little loop button. Sometimes it pops on. If you're playing, uh, I'll show you that. But if you're playing a song and then you go and jump between or toggle between these, it will start to loop that section. So that's, I don't know why it does that, but at least it does it for me. Anyway, uh, let's go back to, oh, we have a, okay, we obviously have the drum one selected. So let's go to the mini sync lead, whatever. There we go. And I can slide my finger across the top. That works on most of the screens from sliding from left to right. So if I wanted to record, we've got the Metrodome option here. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go to Undo. And what did I have before? That's probably, let's switch to a different instrument. I can also go into drum kits and add more than just one step. Uh, I go to progressive, electro kit, and I can go play that on the keyboard. But usually I use the, when I'm doing steps like that, I would actually go to uh, the little step like this and I can just show you an example how that would work. Let me just make a little And what's neat is I can select these and I can go and play with the velocity And the pitch so if I want to make that deeper bass And this is where I'll jump, uh, like if I want to put an effect on it. Let's see here. Uh, what track is this? I would go and look at the track, which is one. And we'll add maybe like a delay. And uh, let's use a, uh, where is it at here? A reverb instead and now let's say I want to work on maybe uh, the electro kit I'll go back here I want to change the instrument let's go to let's make I don't even know what I selected Wow, that's different. We'll try it. Uh, going to tracks, and I want to copy this so I can kind of play a melody here in the background. So I'll go like this, and I'll go over. I'll hit this button. You can also do times two. So if I want to move it uh, in a different way, I could do that too. And. Now I have that, I can go back, select here, go to keyboard. And let me see if I can make my keys. Trying to play it. 
I can go ahead and play it back. I have no idea. And say I didn't like that, I can go back into my tracks and just, uh, well, I could look at it there. For one, if I want to move these around, I could stretch them out. Let's see here. Oops, doesn't want to select it right now. Hey, I'm doing something wrong here. Let's see. Okay, this is really neat too. Any beats that you make on here, say if you do make them with the piano, you can quantize your notes, which is pretty big. And that just make, basically means it will line them up uh, to the the bars here. You got one, two, three, four. And it will line them up so I can do one fourth, one eighth, and quantize note lengths. Uh, do soft. Let's see what that sounds like. And I really don't like that drum beat. Let me take a look at that real quick. Okay, so that's that's enough with that. You get you see how that works there. Uh, for as for instruments, I don't really use the loops. Let's see what they have there in loops though. I don't know if these are actually loops. Yeah, they are. Okay. Sounds a lot better than my drum beat. But there's just a quick example of the uh, the loops and then we have sampler you can also go and purchase things off here they'll say like uh, you can sign up get two free instruments I, I really haven't looked into get any more uh, things like that so but it's pretty sweet it's a nice app especially if you like music making beats from time to time or all the time why not So there you go, it's FL Studio HD, thanks for watching.